Hey guys, Grix here. Thanks for clicking and watching the video. Very much appreciate it. If you guys are having trouble playing Boomer, I have made a new Boomer tutorial that should sum it all up in under 25 minutes. So please go check that out and enjoy the video. Thanks guys. Bye. Hey guys, what's going on? Grix here. Today I'm going to be showing you how I aim with Nax S2 uh, using the S1, S2 toggle method. Uh, if you guys don't already know, uh, if you guys are watching this video, then you probably don't know. So uh, yeah, here's my take on how to shoot S2 with Nax. Have you guys ever been in a situation where you want the S2 knack damage instead of the shitty s1 damage but then you think again and be like well i do want the ss well this method might help you solve both of the problems now chances are you may or may not know how to shoot s2 but let me tell you if you know how to shoot s1 you know how to shoot s2 simply because you can literally just toggle uh after figuring out where the uh, initial landing spot needs to be. Now, for instance, uh, this is a very easy win, and I can demonstrate this in in a real game or like you know in a hard AI game. So it's it's it just makes more sense. All right. So ideally, what you want to do, sorry. All right. So ideally, what you want to do is first start using your S two and just check out the land. Because there are some maps with very thin land and what ends up happening is your S2 will travel way far down depending on the direction of the wind. Uh, and then you hit the bottom side of the terrain and that's not what you want. So if the ter terrain permits and it allows you to hit uh, S2 normally as if there was no wind, then this method will work. Now ideally, again, you want to start off using your S2 aim it uh, where your crosshair is obviously on your target then you switch over to s1 and then you adjust accordingly now this happens to be the neutral wind so this is a very bad example so let me see if i can demonstrate another one Okay, so well, this one uh, is definitely a better demonstration. It's a downward diagonal wind, uh, and the ground will allow me to uh, use my S2. So ideally, in a real game, you will want to do this really, really quick because you have about 25 to 30 seconds. Uh, so that is not a lot of time. Uh, but for the sake of practicing, obviously, we can take our sweet time. But ideally, this is what you want to do. Use your S2 and uh, see whether or not your attack can go through the ground or whether or not the attack can even get to your target uh, using the S2. Now, in this uh, instance, it can. So I would switch on over to the S1 and aim as if my opponent is right on the crosser instead okay now with the diagonal wind it is 75 percent of what uh the wind is actually telling you and if in this direction it is four times 75 percent of it meaning it's three so then you would have to look and see where three is now we can do this uh let's see three is literally right here like you see this line in the middle of the avatar's face uh i'm talking about like one notch back all right uh actually maybe maybe the avatar's face maybe it is exactly the avatar's face fuck it let's do that okay nope yeah right around there all right i'm gonna switch on over back to s2 and I'm just going to zoom way out for demonstration purposes. 
and uh, I would literally shoot it as is. Pew. There you go. That is how you shoot S2. Um, it works no matter what the wind direction is, whether it's up, horizontal, side, diagonal, uh, whatever it is, neutral wind, it, it all works the same. Uh, now, we can, we can do this method as well, which is shooting it from the backward. Uh, let's see. So as you can see here, this will this will allow me to hit. So I will switch on over to S1. And let's fucking take a look and see. I am going to be aiming right around at the edge of the box, right around there. Right? Let me let me zoom in on my eyes because I got shitty eyes. Okay. I'm just gonna Right? Let's go to go, motherfucker! Boom. And that is how you shoot S2. Uh, accurately. Um, if you guys have any other questions, I would highly recommend you practicing in this training mode. Um, don't go to the medium one because the terrain there will just not allow you to do it. Uh, and then practice putting your knack in the first position uh, in, in the hard AI mode and try your best to use only S2 uh, using this toggle method uh, so that, you know, for most cases in a real game, you will remember exactly what to do even without toggling. Uh, but for me, I just do the toggle just to be extra safe. Chances are when I do this method, I will not be able to shoot a fast shot, uh, but that's okay. I'd rather sacrifice 3% than uh, missing and not getting my sky judgment. Uh, if you guys have any other questions uh, about Gunbound, I might be able to answer it. So leave it in the comments below, or you can DM me in, on Discord. Um, but other than that, that is it. It's a very short video. It's pretty self-explanatory. Oh, and by the way, this method works for Plaz as well. Uh, I, I'm not going to go demonstrate it, but the same method uh, with Plaz, and I think that's about it. So, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.